Hi there, um, I am back. This is part two of um, doing these. So part one, which will the, be the last video in this series. Um, we've decorated <coughs> all these and these was uh, a kit and there was journal cards next to each other. Um, and all we've done is put some washi. Um, I did say on that video, they don't have to be journal cards. They could be just a strip strip of paper um, folded in half or you can do it with two postcards or um, lots of things in kits um, you can do it like this and then <clears throat> even two separate pieces and then you can join it with either washi tape or some fabric or something like that so we've made um, some big ones we've got four big ones and we've done two portrait and two landscape and then same same with the little ones so with four of them I'm going to make some little pads so I'm just going to pick um, one each of I think I'm going to have that as a pad that as something else that as something else that is something else. Oh, oh, I've done. Oh, I've. Oh, silly me. I was supposed to do one the other way. Anyway, you probably saw that on the last video and thought, I thought you was doing it the other way. <laughs> so these are just going to be little pads. Um, I've got some like parchment paper here. Three, four, five. Obviously, you could use um if you've got any thick enough scraps for the small ones or your tea stain paper um <clears throat> but i i tend to for little pads i tend to like um using this kind of stuff right i'm looking for a pencil <clears throat> so i'm just lining it up so there's a little bit of gap there and a little bit of gap there and i've got my paper trim out <laughs> No, it's out, um, and I'm just gonna trim it hot off. Off. Wow, I don't know um, <laughs> what's happening to me. Um, so <clears throat> hopefully this trimmer will cut through five. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. It says so. It's this one, isn't it? the longer one yeah so we'll just put that to to the side a minute and so we're going to want <coughs> how wide is it did you see what i did with my pencil yeah i've hid it from myself so we'll go there and then we'll go there so it's not a, it's not an exact science it's you know you can measure it if you want just measure the width of, of your book so just make sure that's straight ish that's one I don't know if these will be right for for those, so I don't have to cut any more down. No, of course they're not. <coughs> right. Excuse me, I'm just going to cough, have a drink and clear my throat. Okay, I'm back. So I'm just going to um, fold these in half. So yeah, I tend to save my tea or coffee stain paper for using um, as whole sheets rather than little pads because I do find that if, if you use it for everything, um, you're forever tea dyeing and um, I find tea dyeing quite exhausting and um, time consuming and <clears throat> even though now, I mean, when I started I used to put it in the the oven um, <clears throat> and that used to 
um, absolutely kill me back, keep, you know, taking it in and out. So now I just dip it in the tea, um, I put it in like an A4, about, I don't know, 10 inches high. And I put about 20, 30 sheets in one and I just put it in the airing cupboard. Um, but then, you know, after a day I need to go and turn it and stuff. It still takes a, a few days to do. So it's, I don't hate it, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't love it. Like I say, it is, it is time consuming. So I'm just going to round these, just going to use the smallest one. So hopefully this will, oh yeah, that's lovely. So that will go in like that. I'm thinking I probably will staple those in. So let's do, <coughs> do the other one. Still can't clear my throat. <coughs> I don't know if it's um, the change in weather or um, I'd not been having the heating on because it, it had warmed up. Um, but then we've had a few days of it being really cold and the heating's been back on. So I do think it's that. Um, I think it just dries you, dries you out. Yep. So this uh, parchment paper, you will be able to find it if you wanted to see which one I used. Um, it is in my Amazon favourites. And um, I think on there, this parchment paper, there's some <coughs> aged paper and there might be some other um, paper. So um, sometimes I buy the parchment and sometimes I buy the, the aged. This time I got the parchment because um, I knew that I'd be working with Edith Alden soon. So I wanted... Um, I think the parchment goes lovely with, with Edith Alden. If I'd have just bought it for the botanicals, I probably would have gone with the aged one. But, you know, it's it still looks really nice. So, that's those two. Um, let's have a look. I'm wondering if I'll be able to get one out of this one. Hold on, it might. Hmm. I could do this that one as a bit of a waterfall, I'm thinking. Let's um So it'd be a shame not to to use this up. So go like that. Um, okay. I think that's straight. in between so maybe about there okay so that's that one and then probably one there it will be oh oh mum's going to be on that one that's better right so let's have a look um, pencil <laughs> 
it just reminded me, I don't know why, but um, <laughs> can you remember them keys what you used to have and you used to whistle <laughs> and it would um, make, a, make a noise. They was really popular. Um, it must have been early 80s, I think. Um, I remember my granddad having one. <laughs> oh dear. The batteries never ever lasted very long on them, and yeah, it it'd be whistling for his for his keys, <laughs> um, and yeah, it won't it won't be working. Oh dear. When you used to go to you know British seaside places and that, they they were selling them everywhere. I think there was only about a pound, you know, in the time. Right, this is all going to be too long, isn't it? So, it actually wants cutting off of there. Oops, don't knock your tea over, Tanya. That would be a disaster. Right. I think that's the right. Yeah. So... That's that, and that's that. So yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm wondering. I think I could let's do those on the seven. Just round the the bottom ones off. Okay. So that's that one. Um, I'm gonna put these in with my strips and put those in with my scraps. Um, I haven't got any thick strips anywhere, so I've got this one left, haven't we? I wonder if we could do a sideways waterfall. Yeah, of course we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh dear. It's surprising what you can think of when... Um, when you want to, you know, not use stuff up and, and what have you. It's sometimes a good thing um, limiting yourself to, you know, a certain amount of supplies and that. Because I do think, yeah, it does make you think a bit. Right. I think I'm probably done with the um, chopper for now. Oh no, I might have to chop some of these off actually. Right, so if we start like that, so we just do it the same, wouldn't we? It doesn't matter that it's going that way. It's the same, it's the same concept. Yeah. Gonna be them about half. Yeah. Okay. So so it wants to be just before <coughs> um, that one. Okay. I'm going to round the corners again. Do it at seven. Yep. Yeah. That's a, right. So that's going to go like so. Okay. So hopefully um, the stapler will will reach so let's do the small ones first so i'm just gonna get them uh, the parchment paper is is a little bit um i want i was gonna say greasy i don't mean greasy um a little bit 
yeah movie shiny so well, uh, to them yep do where's my proper um bone folder it's here That's a one little, little notebook. One little notebook sitting on my desk. <laughs> right, that's another. So yeah, all I do is is bend it, bend it up, and do it the opposite way. So the sharpie bits are in the middle. And you best to try and get it on the seam. I can never seem to to get the seam. So that's two. So I love little notebooks. I say they're great to to put in pockets and and things. So that's that one. Now, will we be able to get in this one? And where do we need to? And I think this one could be a little bit doubtful. Or maybe. So if I try and get it all the way up there. Yeah, just. So I'm still going to just put two in. Let's hope that I don't staple the bottom of it it's very very close to to being um right in half so that's that if i hadn't been on video i probably just would have got my sewing machine out and just whizzed whizzed up them because um i don't know about everybody's sewing machine but mine's fine with with that amount of of pages And if I'd have done it on the sewing machine, I would have um, put a clip on it just to hold it, hold it in. Or you could, you know, hand sew it in, just do a quick little uh, three-hole pamphlet stitch. Seem to me now, but I don't think that matters. Oh, it does. I'm just going to cut it, cut it down. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> it definitely does. Right, coming, coming, get all the way through. Ooh. Right, just ink it that down. Okay, that's better. So we have got four um, little notepads, which are going to look really cute. So they can go in my um, finished stash. Right, where did I put the other four? Here they are. Right, I've just got some um, glassine bags out. So I'm looking what, what would um, fit in. So these ones are probably a little bit too too big they're a bit smaller Tiny, tiny. I think 
there, but the last ones I've got are, are those. They're those, they're those, they're those. Right, I've put those out the way because I know that they're uh, too big. So any of these would be, would be fine. So... I think I'm going to put two in there and two in there. So that's those. Um, but I have got those envelopes, so I might use one of those envelopes. <coughs> away and I had another little right there so I'll put one of those away right so that's something for those that envelope's gonna be too big <laughs> look at this oh Heather sent me these thank you so much Heather I'm gonna say I've never been able to get hold of um vellum envelopes I love them so that could probably go in one of those, but I've done those upright, so I don't fancy using that in that, so I won't. That's probably a good size for those, but it's going to open that way. But then, so even though it does open that way, I might have to have the pockets that way. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So that's that one. I think they're a little bit too big. And then I've got another two of those <coughs> little ones, like some tiny ones, uh, gone. You can see they were from there. Um, I think I looked for coin protectors or something. And these, that's what came up uh, for them. So I put those back. Um, thinking I might do some stamping in the background just for some um, interest. Let me see if I can pull my board out um, and make sure that it's not shining um, with my light. Let's put those on. Let's just move those yep. out of the way. okay I've got the big ring there so if I just put something over there I'm gonna put my tea there ish yeah that should be fine shouldn't it so that's that I think we're straight go up a little bit bring that down <laughs> yeah I should have paused to do that um so what are we doing I'm going to use the script stamp and let's have a look actually what this tea dye looks like in in this script stamp oh that's nice it's a it's a lovely brown it's um you know if i say pink it's not pink but it's it's got a pinky tone um to it so it, it is very very nice um on the edith alden it's it's very soft um i won't even say it's a beige it, it is like a pinky brown i wouldn't say that it looked like tea uh to be honest and this is the oxide um one So that just gives them a bit of interest at the back. Yeah. Well, I can't wait till my Tim old stamp comes from from America. Um, yeah, I ended up ordering one, and um, they did have them in the UK and on Amazon, but um, I put it on my favourites, and then when I transferred it to my basket they'd, they'd sold out so um i ordered it from from america and it was actually cheaper right let's 
let's do this okay so let's have a look at um this one first let's just put those out there out the way so that opens like that and i'm thinking of having um the envelope there so i'm wondering if to have it low and see if i've got anything that um well one we want something to fit in the pocket so that fits nice and then I'm wondering if we can keep that open to have something we could have the the bigger size of, of that that would be quite nice no that's too much so yeah we could could do that there feel like that needs two really so no those tickets are too big they'd be too small <coughs> so just got my top of tags at the side of me oh, that's quite it's too tall so i could possibly have two of those uh behind like so yeah i like that um, I'm going to change that for that, so I think that matches nicer. And then I think at the side I'm going to have that there. So I'm going to cut <coughs> cut the um, lip, the flat bit off, like so. And I'm going to have that there. I'm going to totally stick that down. Um, let me just try and ink there so you can see where that opening is. Just see if I can open it up a bit more. Like that. That's better. So I'm going to totally stick that down. And then let's see what we've got in here do with something with the same kind of um color i think then my tags are getting a little bit too too big Ooh, that's a possibility yeah because i want it hanging hanging over let's just see if any little small ones have got caught um I do keep my, my tags in size order in journal cards because, yeah, I know it does sound very, you know, over the top. But when I'm just looking for something small, um, I don't want to be rooting through all of my tags. Um, so I don't obviously put them in exact um, <laughs> size order. But, uh, yeah, I roughly try to... I wonder that would be nice if that, oh, that would fit in. Does that fit in there? No. Does it fit behind? No. If it doesn't fit in, it's not going to fit behind, is it? <laughs> really? Oh, Tanya. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get with it. Does that fit? Oh yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna take that one that one out. Okay, so I'm gonna start by um putting this one totally down. If you haven't got glassine um bags and things like that, obviously you can put small envelopes in. So like the little coin envelopes and things like that. Um, I know in America they do those really little small uh, paper bags because um, Dee Dee sent me uh, some, what I used as, as pockets, um, and they was about that big and really, really nice. I've never seen those in the UK um, before. Or if you've got an envelope uh, punch board, or you can make some little tiny envelopes you can just put some little corners in or little pockets in so that's that i am gonna do a little bit of collage over these 
Let's take that bit down and I'm going to stick that side, that side and the bottom. Let's just move those out of the way way. This dries a little bit. So that's there. Okay. Let's just take that out, give that an ink. Um, yeah, a lot of the things that I have been making, I have been trying to put tags in um, and journal cards ready. Um, and then I've not even got to think about, um, you know, putting things things in. I think at the beginning, when I did the first few, I didn't fill them with tags. And I do keep meaning on going back to some of the pockets and that that we decorated um, and just getting the tags in ready because um i just think it will really help when when making something that you haven't just got that you know or oh, what's going to go where you can just concentrate on um what you're making so i'm trying to use some of these um dies up before they get ruined So I might have that there. I'm doing something small there. So I'm going to glue this down. Did I not ink inside these? I didn't, did I? I thought I'd inked inside them all. Or maybe I just missed this one. So that's that there. Um, ink around this. Okay, I did say up here that I didn't glue it down. And let's just pop it more clear that. Okay, so that's that. Um, got some broken bits of fern and that here. Probably put those on on the next one. That's that one doesn't look too bad. Let's put that there. I think. I don't know what my daughter's got on, but I can hear somebody singing. And not somebody like a pop star. Um, somebody horrendous. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds awful. Right, um, let's see what we've got in the label department. So, quite like that there. I like that. I feel like I want to circle. Roll over. Yeah, I like that. Do I want a little bit of colour or not? I do feel like it needs a bit of a bit of something somewhere. So let's get a bit of my do I want a bit of green? I might do. No, I have got some. Let's just take one of those out and um, some more paper by Lorna and some book page. Right, let's have a look. Then green behind it. Yeah, 
I like that. <coughs> Just for a little bit of, of interest. glue bottle on my desk so I'll pop that there okay like so and just pop some ink on there did do some fussy cutting last night and I must say I'm I'm horrendous at cutting circles and ovals but I'm definitely getting better yeah this is still a bit but overall they are getting better so yeah I like that um I do feel that that needs <coughs> a little bit more stamping um around it so if I just pop some there and there and there and there let's take those out and just pop some that and that okay so i'm quite happy with with that side um i think i'm gonna have that in the middle just like need something behind it it wants something green maybe maybe it just wants something green so I'll to cut that right size so that was there which is too big and then that there. Yeah, I do like that. So, I'll take it about there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's give it a glue around. The art glitter seems to um, work on the vellum quite well. Did um, use it with fabric tap once, and I did find it it stuck fine. But um, after a while, it just literally fell off. Um, so I don't use fabric tap on it anymore. So yeah, I like that. So that's the inside of that one. I don't want to do anything at the front, but I don't know if I might want um, a number or something. And I've got some lovely numbers from uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodle. Oh, yes. Um, I think it's her third number because I had uh, brought the first and second, I think. So I think this is the next one that, that she brought out. And um, yeah, I really like those. I think they make a, a nice change from the more botanical um, type numbers. Yeah, so that's that one. Right, what have we got next? Oh, let's do, do another big one. So this is going to open this away. I have inked inside this one, so maybe it just was just was a, that one that I missed. So I think that could go there. And then I could perhaps have the envelope there so let's start by taking that off 
and I think this time I'm going to totally glue the envelope down and I'll keep um oh that's puttings also so I'm just got this trim it just to straighten it up I'm gonna blame my eyesight for that not my cutting skills <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to leave one of the sides open because I think even if it's got a tab on and the tab's poking out, it will look, it will look really nice. So let's totally um, glue this down. And I don't feel like this vellum wants inking at all because um, it's got like an aged um, look anyway. I'm thinking these ones are quite old because um, she did send me some quite, you know, white ones. But uh, then there was some more dingy ones, which was absolutely wonderful. Right, so let go in that. I think it would if I cut it down, but it might be too, too wide. Yeah. That would have been nice as well. <clears throat> um, save that number. So I've had, oh, a little drink of tea. I think I might have to cut one, cut one down. See, I've got that one, which I think that would near enough fit, but it's very white, whereas everything else is. It's quite creamy, so um, unless I can just rub it over with um, some ink. Yeah, because I think that only wants a bit taken off. Yes, yeah, so I can rub that over. So I'm just going to cut some off the, the top. Um, I'll just cut a bit off the side just to straighten it up a little bit. I think these ones are from um, the Artemis uh, Fern and Mushroom kit. Ah, that's perfect. Lovely. that's that in in there and I think where did I put those ferns <clears throat> I think that would be nice and just there could I get away with two no I don't know why two never look can right together that's probably because they're exactly the same isn't it it's I think to put two together you do need a, a little bit of variation on um, its position I mean you can manipulate these a little bit um, and, you know and get them glued, glued down so that's that one We'll need some something else. Quite like that. I might. I think I'm going to pop that there. So I'm not going to bother inking it. I don't want to, to, I don't know, but I don't want to, <laughs> I'm not bothered about ink I didn't have any valid reasons really, <laughs> just, <laughs> just didn't think you'd be able to see it, notice it much. So that's, that's that. So quite happy with that. Um, I think it just, again, it, is a little bit more in can so that's gonna go there let's just put a bit there 
okay so I'm gonna stick this down on three I think I'm just gonna ink around this a little bit okay um so I'm gonna ink it something for this that's fine I'm just <coughs> looking at it <coughs> excuse me if um, there's anything nothing else I quite like that one I think I'm going to go for, for that one does that not stick down did it not stick the top yeah, I did do three sides, didn't I? I don't know. Right. So, that goes in like that. Let's um, pink that around. Um, but yeah, this kit, I've not printed it out since last year. And I have got the full kit um, in a folder. And um, yeah, I did mean to do it when I was doing the, the Woodland series, but just didn't get around to doing it. So that is one of the full kits that I do need to, to use. So that can go there. Um, I think we could have that other fern there. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's the right way. Oh, I like that. Um, scientific -y. Not that there. I'm not feeling that um, I want any collage <coughs> um, on this one. Funny, isn't it? Oh, sometimes you do want that bit of extra and then other times you, you don't. I think it's probably just the positioning um, of this. It can, can make a difference. So it can go there. And let's see what we've got to go in here. So it does need a, a certain depth because we don't want to lose it. <clears throat> I don't know if I can cut this one down. So I think that would be be a pretty good one. So I'm just need to knit up why I'm here. So look at that. Still need some off it. I can take some off the bottom. Yeah, I think now when I re glued it.
Yeah, that bit's fine now. Don't still need to just get this bit here. Okay. That's fine. I shall leave that poking out. So that's that one. Love it. Oh, do I want anything at the front? Do I want? I feel like if I'm putting anything, it does need to be another fern. And no, it's it's not doing it for me. Right, um, let's have a look at these ones that I have already um, done because I'm just wondering if I could just perhaps um, stick them on inside it. So I think they're just going to be better stuck down than keep putting them back in the folder for them to keep wrapping themselves around each other. Yep. So I'll leave that open to dry over there. Let's have a look at this one. And I think that's going to be a bit awkward to, to put on one end. Yeah. Oh, let's put um I think I quite like that. Let me just try another one. Sometimes like you just can pick something out and the first things um the right thing that's far too big. I've gone from like yeah, picking something ideal up to something ridiculous. Oh, I think I'm going to put the insects on there. <coughs> okay. Let's just pull. That's better. Right, that's that one. <coughs> And then we've got the, the butterfly one. Nope. Got a bit of a stick there. Yeah, may as well. It's not doing no harm there, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think it's particularly adding anything, but... Um, it's not detracting from it either. So that's that's that. Wondering if I do want um something small oval. Oh no, you never guess what. I've just dropped them all on the floor. I think I want something smaller than that. Oh right. <laughs> Goodness me. But I have found a little circle. It's like that was that was good. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want it, but um, yeah, I do think a circle. 
will be good to try. Right. So I'll try those and then we've got just those two small ones to to finish. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm having it. <laughs> Seeing as I've just groveled around the floor, we're having that circle. Right, that's that one. Come on, Tanya, let's get on because we've got another two to, to do. So that's that one. And right. Anyone know where the two little ones have gone? Oh my goodness me. They're somewhere safe, aren't they? You know, that place that, that I've put them in. Aha, see them. I've got them. Panic over. Right, so these um, both go upwards, don't they? So I think I'm just going to put one pocket in. I think I want to do a little bit of collage there. And I'm going to put one in. So I've got one for the other one. They're too small, aren't they? Also, I've got two. I've got two for that one. Right, let's stick this down. I'm just going to pop. A little bit of I'm not keeping any of the sides open um on this one. Just straight glue it, glue it down. I hope I've not got them too high. No, that's fine. Right, let's um, a little bit of book page like so. check if I've any more of the ferns I think they've all gone now so I'm glad I got those used is it just one more yeah there's one more so I'm gonna put that on here then so that can go like so change that card excuse me um, and just ink around these so that's that and then I think that looks too big now just pop that there
So that's that. Now, do I want anything on there? Why do I keep pull pulling big ones out? I'm sure I've just <laughs> checked that one before. I've just got the handful that um, was on the floor. Yeah, quite like that, even though it's like exactly the same size, but I do like that. <clears throat> and I feel like I'm going to keep the top open just in case I find something small to pop in. Um, so I'm going to go right to the bottom, like so. And then I'm wondering, I think one of those is fair. Let's just take that out. These ones are from the um, Aunt May's kit as well. Those ones aren't. I'm not sure <coughs> who they came from. So that's that's that one. Quite happy with that apart from that bits sticking up yep so that's that right last one come on where is it it's here <laughs> so again I shall put one down the bottom so I'm really pleased that's um, another pile a little pile gone um, I think I've got four four more little um, piles and then I've actually you know done all of the um, things that I wanted to get done using up the things that um, I'd printed and stuff My, I'm hungry, my belly keeps going. Because it's an hour, so if you are still with me, thank you very, very much. And so, it's been a long video. When you pull these things out, and you just think, Oh, there's you know, there's not a lot, um, but it, it's surprising. Um, so obviously, this has been two videos, so it's took me like two hours to, to decorate the inside and outside of. Um, Eight things which I don't know if that's good or bad I mean I would I wouldn't class myself as a slow um, crafter um, sometimes you know things will stump me and um, I need to think about it but um, yeah I would say I was pretty much I just got on with it um, so it just goes to show how long these things take but I think because when you're doing them and, and you're not filming um, because you really enjoy yourself and that I don't think you really notice how long these things take it's, um, it's crazy right let's see if I've got another wide-ish one for there because I did like that idea yeah, I'll link around this one because there's a bit, a bit of white. But yeah, I'm just glad that, you know, I've got to use um, some of the pieces. It's, it's total transformation, isn't it, from something, you know, totally um, blank. Well, not blank. 
plain. Oh dang, it's not even plain, is it? Because the paper was anything but plain. I don't know. Undecorated. That's that's the word. It's like ketchup on the bottom of the bag. Oh, no, the other one didn't do that. Okay. I'm just going to pop that there because obviously it's wet at the bottom. And can we fit this one up? Oh, it's a little bit too big. Oh, let's see. Do not drop them all on the floor again, Tanya. Yeah. So that is that. So I will be able to now add these to my ephemera ready to, to use. So thank you very much. And I'm not going to waffle for ages. I'm just going to say <laughs> goodbye. See you soon. Bye.